Look at the front where it says Ames real big. Greetings, everybody, from Monroeville or Murraysville? Uh, Monroe or Reesville. I'll just... Murray... Ro Murray's Roeville. Uh, That's easy whatever. for you to say. Anyway, <laughs> we're back here at one of my favorite Dollar Tree locations. You would be pretty familiar with this one, I would imagine, if you watched all the Dollar Tree videos that we've done. Uh, this is the first one I did when I started looking around for DVDs after Nate had found the Langoliers at a, at a Dollar Tree out near him. Now, they had a copy here, but the disc was loose, so I didn't buy it. And I went looking all around for it, and as you remember, after that saga, I ended up finding, finding it in Erie. But it was this story that I really liked in particular, uh, even though it's far away from home and most Dollar Trees sell the same items. Sometimes you go to a, one of their locations and they have items that other Dollar Tree locations don't have. And they're always different sizes. Some of the bigger stores have more frozen foods, refrigerated foods. They have more variety. And, uh, I mean, you've seen that now in the last couple of videos that I've done. And we're going to see what they have in here. I actually need to get a cardboard box. and i got to get my best friend a graduation card because she just graduated college yesterday and i'm super proud of her so <laughs> she's gonna get it she deserves a card and i'm gonna i'm gonna come to a place where they have an amazing selection of cards and you're not gonna pay an outrageous amount for yeah i mean all honesty cards um, cards these days are so overpriced you go to like target walmart even meyer like you see greeting cards in there they're like sometimes like six seven dollars there's a kid walking by with a street sign that I know he just took off of a pole. Nah. Why? That or he found it laying on the ground. I'm not going to assume, but like he definitely is doing something he shouldn't be doing. He looks like it, too. Here, here, I'll show you real quick. Say hello to the sign-stealing friend. Hi, buddy. Oh, well, I can, I can visibly see cameras, so... <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I'm not one to judge. Maybe it was his or something. We don't even know, but it's definitely weird. So, and he's definitely going to that prelude, which is right there. I knew it. See, he went right to the trunk and he's going to drop it in the trunk. And, well, this was definitely wild to the intro. All <laughs> uh, right. But anyway, yeah, let's go inside this Dollar Tree, see what they got. I'm going to look at the DVDs and a couple other things and just kind of show you around real quickly in here. And at the end of the video, let me know what you think. If you enjoy these, I'll do a bunch more. So, um, all right, that's that. Let's go in. All right, let's go ahead and see what they have in here. I like this one out here in Murraysville, Monroeville area. I've been here a few times. Welcome. Here they are, DVDs right up front. Let's see what they got. I don't even know what they have, but we'll take a look. Why not? Thanks, Nate, for getting me to do this. So we, I don't have a Blu-ray player, so anything Blu-ray I can't buy. I know you guys are going to say, well, why don't you get one? But I'm old school. The White King. Tara Willy. Monkey King Hero is back. Rabbit School. Back to the sea. <laughs> Straight out of Oakland. Okay. All right. See what else we got going on. Mission to the Moon. District B13. Never heard of that. American Dresser. Dark was the night. Igor, Igor, The Legend of Halloween. Alright. Invisible Sue. No big take. Welcome to the punch. Dark was the night. Class rank. Checkmate. High voltage. Top cat. Running from my roots. Surrender the key. Oh, that's a book. Bubble. Dark was the night. They're all trying to fall down here. It ain't gonna ha it ain't gonna work. They're all trying to fall down. So we'll just go Chima. Bigger, fatter liar. Hamlet and Hutch. Burt Reynolds. 
a shame he ended up at the Dollar Tree. <sighs> Joe and Casper hit the road. You could definitely hit the road, for that's for sure. Cube and Fury, never heard of that. Into Ashes. Straight out of Oakland, too. I never even heard of the first one. And you got both of them here? <laughs> Eight family feature films. Lucky Dog, Hannah's Gold, Smitty. Smitty. <laughs> oh, that's cool, at least. I don't know. How would you say that, Kayla? What? Asura? Asura. 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 I knew you would know how to say that. <laughs> What's this one here? Burning Kiss. Bangkok Knockout. Seven Seas Pirates. When you try so hard to be Pirates of the Caribbean, but you can't. I know. It's like the Aldi version. <laughs> <laughs> Ant Boy. Revenge of the Red Fury. Okay, I... There are a reason why a lot of these are here at the dollar store, but sometimes you do find some good ones. Yakuza Apocalypse. Manuel Lopez. All right, never heard of him. Red Hook Summer. 100% Wolf. 100% not. Broke. Uh, surprisingly, no, I'm doing okay. Citizen Soldier. Top Cat. The Movie. That kind of looks interesting. Kayla's already going, ooh. <laughs> going, ooh, about what's behind it. Uh-oh, that. Yeah, that's <laughs> Gwen Stefani. I, we, I loved Gwen Stefani when I was younger. I loved the Harajuku line. And I didn't even know they had a DVD out. I had no I idea. Had, I had the dolls, I had the perfumes. Like, I, I was all for that. <laughs> what, how do you pronounce it? Kuku Harajuku. Bless you. <laughs> Super kawaii. <laughs> That's cool. Outrage. Yeah, anything from the White House on either side. It doesn't matter who it is. It's an outrage. I'm not picking sides. Just saying. In general. Extreme Rex. World Thumb Wrestling Federation. That's just ridiculous. That's ridiculous. I almost want to buy it just to see how ridiculous it really is. And I mean, for a dollar, it's not that big of a loss. <laughs> Turf War, The Program, Rabbit School, Red vs. Blue, and The Coalition. Okay, so that's what they have here by the front for movies. Here's their seasonal section. I love the summer goodies that they have again. We showed you everything in the last couple of videos, so I'm not going to bore you and go through every single item again. I'm just seeing if they have anything different. Those holographic cups are cool. The ice cream cups are cool. Summer is better at the beach. Now that I like, but I really, really got to stop buying wall art. Sea, sun, and sand. Salt in the air, sand in my hair. See, now these are ones I haven't seen. So that's why I do this. I'll look through to see what else they have. But I got to stop doing that. I got to, and plus all the patriotic stuff. I'm going to be buying a bunch of these for Memorial Day, 4th of July. God knows what else. See, I gotta dig out what I have at home before I start buying more because I've made the mistake of buying things and I already had them from the year before and then I have duplicates and I end up donating them to the thrift store <laughs> or giving them to my aunt and uncle. Oh, I got my card. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> she got a graduation card for her friend. My BFF graduated. Yay! That's from college? What yeah. was that, college? Or was that yeah, some cosmetology school? No, she graduated from college. She's going into healthcare, so oh, she's nice. doing a lot of awesome things with her life, and I'm, like, so proud of her. That's cool. That's cool. Good. I'm glad to hear it. Little pictures. See, now I need to find... Itty hmm? waters. That is funny. Itty bitty waters, and remember these from Kmart? Yeah, those were good. These, believe it or not, guys, these are actually pretty good. If not better than the actual Pop-Tart, I'm going to be honest. Now, the only thing in this aisle that I see that is total blasphemy is this right here, being a Pittsburgher. It's it's uh, Heinz or nothing. Case closed. Okay, while I'm in here, I actually need to find a small cardboard box for a mug that I'm sending to my friend Daniel. Oh, look at this. They got more summer goodies here. I, I might be in my 30s, yes. But you can never take the kid out of me. I would have a field day playing with all these little toys. Especially if, like, there's people at the beach that, like, they got kids or whatever. Even Kayla. <laughs> Are you saying I'm a kid? Yeah. So am I. <laughs> I mean, I do like my, I do like my beach toys. Yeah, so what's wrong you with that? You have to be, like, a certain age to like it, you know? Exactly. You have to be nine years old and be at the beach. Dude. Exactly. It's like, you have to put an age on it. Mm-hmm. 
I found my box. It's a dollar. Did you find your little stuff to put in it so the mug doesn't break? Yes, I have that from work. Oh. Now, believe it or not, I know you people would say, like, oh, you could just get a box from where you work or just get them for free, at this, or at, like, in a dumpster or whatever. You wouldn't believe how hard it would be to find a box this small for a mug. So, for a dollar, I'm just buying it. I don't really care. <laughs> so, it's only going to cost me a couple of bucks to ship out what I'm sending out anyway. So, that and... I can't remember. There was something else I needed. Oh, yeah, puzzles. What do they have for puzzles for Bob Ross ones? So here's an end cap with puzzles here, but I don't see any Bob Ross ones. But they usually have an aisle full of toys. I like this one with the classic car speedometer and odometer. I checked where, like, the books and the crafts and toys and stuff are, and I didn't see any more puzzles. Really? Yeah. Wow, their toy selection is rather small. They, they, this store did have an aisle with DVDs in it, too. So I'll check there to see if they have any more DVDs. Especially since the new... Especially since the new drop just came out. Ew. Hunts. Everything else is okay. That mail looks bad. It should not be that yellow. What, this one? Yeah. It doesn't show up on camera, but, like, it's very yellow in person. That's Mrs. Clark's mayonnaise. That would be one time I would tell him not hold the mayo. You know, it was like on SpongeBob. Okay, I'm being a dork. All right, here is the aisle. That they actually do have some DVDs here. This is actually where I found the Langoliers the very first time, but the DVD was loose, so I didn't buy it. And then you saw how that started this big entire scavenger hunt trying to find it, which was actually fun. And since you guys t seem to like these DVD hunting videos, I'll do a few more while doing some small store tours of Dollar Trees, because I really love Dollar Tree. So anyway, let's see what they got. Bling! I'm, they got some DVDs hiding back there. Seven Seas Pirates. I don't even know if I can get my hand back there. Chime, somebody... Okay, it just... Chima. It's open, but the disc is in there. I was going to say, if somebody really stole a dollar DVD, you got problems. For real. <laughs> I can't get my hands back in there. Stage Fright? I guess that's what that says but yeah the american dream ant boy what's this cat tiro what's with these weird cat movies <laughs> asura or however you say it asura. extraordinary mission so the part i had it, mm -hmm. there looked like there was like a strip missing off of it mm -hmm. So I grabbed another one that turned out there was. There was a gem on it. Oh, I, I see that. I grabbed one with the gem, so. Cool. I'm not going to send my friend a destroyed card. <laughs> yeah, a defective card. That's what I'm for. You send them to me. Even though we live in the same house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and one last thing. There you go. Hubba hubba. <laughs> Turf war. Yeah, these are basically the same ones we've seen. Me neither. That's why they're here. But you know what I haven't seen is the big take. Yeah. So. Maybe the big take got taken out. Instead of, of yeah, instead of the big take, you now have the program. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Wonder how many dumpsters those went to, or how many Goodwill outlets they ended up going to for not selling. You got. Anyway, it. nothing really else here that I see. But I've been to a couple others where I didn't film, and they had a heck of a lot more. So we'll keep looking around and seeing what they have. So I do like the store, and yes, they are actively stocking, but this is one of my favorite locations, is this one out here in the Monroeville. I love it. It's always nice and upkept in here. So you usually you usually always find what you're looking for in here. Good food selection, too. And they even have a lot of frozen and refrigerated foods, too, for a smaller location like this one. You would expect to see this in the bigger locations. But in a small one like this, they have quite a lot of selection. Lunchables, waffles. Now, some of this stuff, you just kind of have to pick and choose. Some stuff you could tell whether or not it would be good or not. Like Michelinas, you can't go wrong with them. Pop them in a the microwave, bam, you're done. And actually, the cheeseburger max pretty good. I would get that and take it to work for lunch. The little banquet meals. And the Philly swirls right there in the bottom corner. I love those. those oh, yeah. Philly swirls have been like my favorite popsicle since mm -hmm. ever. They're so good. I like the little M&M ice creams they have too. And the crunch ones. Oh, if we weren't going to dinner, I'd buy one. <laughs> um, what else did I see? Uh, another thing that I like that I've got here. The little state fair. 
corn dogs, you get two of them for a dollar. That's actually not a bad deal considering a box of them sometimes is like four or five bucks. Um, and then the little pot pies. I love chicken pot pies. And banquet ones, even though they're kind of cheap and small, they're pretty good. They get the job done for lunch at work or a little snack. But you just have to be careful of what you look at because some things are cheap. But yeah. Like the bacon and stuff yeah. like that. The hot dogs aren't too bad. The bars, hot dogs, now they're, they are cheap, yes, but I've had them before. And the Oscar Mayer bologna, because like, you've got to remember, I make sandwiches for work. The, their, their lunch meat isn't too bad, and these hot dogs aren't too bad for a dollar, with all honesty. You just have to pick and choose. It's a trial and error thing, too. And, of course, if you get something and you don't like it, you only wasted a dollar, so it's not really that big of a deal. But if you're a cheapskate like me, you'll still cry. Now, the breakfast wraps, I've had those. They are pretty good. They are pretty darn good, but they are so bad for you. <laughs> See, here's one of those things I find, and I gotta buy the Captain's Wafers with cream cheese and chives. I love these, I know Kayla does too. Mm -hmm. I'm buying them. <laughs> yes, and you can put them in like your lunchbox to work. Mm -hmm. Now, if only I could find cheese nips again, because they had those dollar boxes of cheese nips last summer, and I would get them and crush them. They were so good. But I haven't seen them in a long time. I haven't seen them in months at any of the stores. I see their version of cheese nips. And I'm not talking cheese its I'm talking the uh, the other company. Not the cheese its but cheese nips that are in, like, the what is it, an orange box? Yeah. So, even these are pretty good. The little whale crackers, I've had those. Mm -hmm. And Trader Joe's has a version of those that are really good, too. Mm-hmm. And they are very good. So, but, oh, well. That's okay. Maybe they'll have them this summer. Maybe I should check back by the summer stuff again. It is going in the summertime. It is May, after all. <laughs> Could I get lucky? I doubt it. But you never know. Bugles. More lay stacks. No, I don't see them. But it's early, and this is a smaller store. So maybe, maybe another time or another location. Or just go to the grocery store and pay like three times as much for the same stuff, honestly. <laughs> nah, I'll go to Dollar Tree. Now, I'm a fan of the Ritz Bits cracker sandwiches, especially the ones with cheese. And I thought they didn't have any more, like they were completely sold out. But they, they, I mean, they almost are, but they got one bag. But look at the difference in this new bag with the NBA logo up on top. Sure, it's a promotional thing, but is that how their new packaging is going to be compared to like this one on the left? Like it lost its personality. Yeah. Like, these ones are bold, the one that says peanut butter. Now, it would say cheese on the cheese ones, but they went from that to that. Oh, my goodness. Look, the, look down. Pop Rocks. Ooh. Oh, man. So I haven't I'll had Pop you, Rocks in a while. So, I'll tell you my experience with Pop Rocks. Mm -hmm. um, when I first had them as a kid, I got some in my stocking, mm -hmm. and my dad was like, oh, eat them. They're really good. And so, I <laughs> cracked it open. And I was like, they smell weird. They look weird. And it's like, just pour them in your mouth. They'll be fine. And they popped for like 30 minutes straight. It 30 like. minutes? Holy yeah, cow. Yeah, it popped for like, well, maybe not 30 minutes. But I was like, oh my God, Dad. I was like, are you trying to kill me? <laughs> I was like five. It was, it was funny. That's great. I remember doing the whole bag once, and I, I thought my mouth was exploding. But they're good. I haven't had them in years, though. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I guess that's going to be a wrap from this Dollar Tree. That was another fun experience at the good old Dollar Tree out here. And I, I, I always get it wrong. It's like Murraysville and Monroeville, like right where they combine. But I, like I said, I've been to the store a bunch of times and it's right across the parking lot from my favorite store. I, a lot of places are my favorite store, but Phantom Fireworks. Overpriced fireworks, but that's okay. I love what they do. And man, last year, if, uh, if my phone and whatnot didn't get uh, damaged on 4th of July, <laughs> we would have had that fireworks show on, on film for you guys because we all had a good time. And my cousin wanted to keep throwing my phone into the pool to test out how waterproof it was. And it was waterproof for a while until about the 12th time. And I had to tell her, like, yeah, it's not going to work anymore if you keep throwing it in the pool. But she was like, eight. <laughs> so... Yeah, I just got this one, so who cares? But, yeah, Phantom Fireworks and good old Dollar Tree. Love them both. 
All right, now that we're back in the car, I can finish this video real quick because we want to go to dinner. We're pretty hungry. I know I am. I didn't eat all day. Yeah, King's Hawaiian Sandwich at Permanis is calling my name. It's so good. If you are in Pittsburgh and you go to Permanis, try the King's Hawaiian Sandwich. You will not be disappointed. Or if you guys live in like Maryland or like wherever, or even like Florida. Wherever there's a Permani Brothers, because I know there's like some in like Michigan and Indiana too. But definitely yeah. worth it. Go for it. Anyway, we're taking off. Hope you enjoyed. If you did give the video a like, you know the whole drill. Take care, stay awesome. Uh have a Marie's old dollar uh Marie's old dollar tree let's just say. 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 Haha, can you say my tongue twister? Marie's old dollar let's Dollar Tree, let's just say. Marie's old Dollar Tree, let's just say. All right. I'm going to stop now. I just wanted to say it and be annoying. Oh, you finished? Okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye.